guys, this is Haley from OneOneRabbits.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on what to feed an adult rabbit. So one thing I want to mention is that a rabbit is officially an adult when they reach six months of age. So this diet is for any rabbit above six months old. Um, for a baby rabbit diet, it is um, different. So if you wanna see a video on baby rabbit diet, um, let me know. So the most important thing that an adult rabbit needs is unlimited grass hay. Um, this can be any kind of grass hay. The most popular ones are Timothy hay and orchard grass, uh, but there's definitely other kinds um, like um, meadow hay and oat hay. So there is other types of hay, but Timothy hay and orchard grass are typically what you're going to see when you're buying hay. So rabbits need unlimited hay for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that rabbits teeth are continually growing. Um, and because of that, the fibers in a hay, um, when they chew it, wear down their teeth so that your rabbit doesn't end up with overgrown teeth, which is a very, um, can be a very serious thing. Another reason rabbits need unlimited grass hay is that it helps with their gut. Um, rabbits have a very delicate um, digestive system and because of that they need grass hay to push thing push things all along and keep it going. Um, but adult rabbits should not be fed alfalfa because it is very high in calcium, which can lead to um, bladder problems. Um, and it is also very high in fat, which can lead to an adult rabbit becoming obese. So another very important thing to give adult rabbits is unlimited water provided in a dish. So here is one of my rabbit's water dishes. Um, this is just, I don't know, I got it from Walmart in their like, like bowl section, like with their plates and everything. Um, so I literally paid two dollars for this, um, and it's just a normal like glass bowl material. Um, you want something heavy because rabbits are very destructive and they like to flip their water dishes over. So if you get something plastic, most likely they're gonna tip it over. Um, so you want something sturdy and heavy that they aren't gonna knock over. And you wanna feed rabbits their water from a dish versus a bottle because rabbits need a lot of water. They should be drinking um, about the same amount of water as a 20 pound dog a day. So that is a lot of water if you consider um, a four pound rabbit drinking the same amount as a 20 pound dog. So a bottle does not provide enough water because every time they lick the bottle, it like barely gets any water on their tongue. And so it is very, very hard for a rabbit to get enough water um, for them to drink. So the next most important thing in a rabbit's diet is veggies. So the recommended amount of vegetables per day for a rabbit um, according to um, the House Rabbit Society is one cup of vegetables for every two pounds of body weight. So if your rabbit is four pounds, then you're gonna wanna feed two cups of vegetables. If they're five pounds, you'll probably want to feed two and a half cups of vegetables. So it just depends on how big your rabbit is, um, how much they weigh and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to prepare vegetables for an adult rabbit. Um, so I just have a one cup measuring cup here. I have a veggie plate and then all my vegetables. Um, one thing to remember is that they recommend that adult rabbits be fed three different types of vegetables daily. Um, and every week you can rotate that if, you, um, if you'd like, if you have different options. To find a complete list on what vegetables are safe for rabbits, you can go ahead and look in the link in the description bar down below and I will post um, a link to the suggested vegetable list. So I'm just gonna be showing you how to prepare two cups of vegetables for your rabbit. Um, most rabbits are probably about four to five pounds. Um, that's just kind of like the average. Um, so a four pound rabbit should get two cups of vegetables. Um, if your rabbit's less than that, it might only need one cup. Um, so this really depends on the weight of your rabbit, but I'm just gonna be showing you how to prepare two cups of vegetables for a rabbit. So the first thing I'm doing is just grabbing um, pieces of lettuce and kale. 
off of um, my stack here. Now you won't have to measure your vegetables every single day. That would be a little ridiculous. Normally you just have to measure it. I, I do it about once a year just to make sure that the amount I'm feeding is the amount my rabbit should be getting. Um, so this is something you'll probably want to do right away just so that you get the feel for how much two cups of vegetables look like. So now that I have my vegetables, um, I'm just going to kind of stuff them into my cup. You're gonna wanna really stuff it in there cause um, rabbits should be getting full cups of vegetables, not just like halfly packed in there. So just really stuff it in there. Um, so I'd say that's about a cup of vegetables. So you saw how much I just shoved in there. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. <laughs> put that on my plate and just continue shoving this so there we go that's about two cups of vegetables that you could feed um, to an average four pound rabbit um, so approximately I gave um, two leaves of everything except for kale I just had one so once you remember that you can just remember to give two of each and then you know um, so you just kind of like remember like how much to give your rabbit so and if you go a little bit over or a little bit less it's really not going to matter that much so don't freak out too much about that so another thing i'm going to quickly mention is that all diets should be discussed with your veterinarian um you just typically they always ask you what you feed your rabbit um so when you tell them just like tell them in detail what you feed and everything so then later on down the road if your rabbit ever develops health issues you guys can look at the diet and figure out how to change it to um, help your rabbits health and lastly we have pellets um, adult rabbits should be getting about a fourth a cup of pellets for every six pounds of body weight um, so if your rabbit is under six pounds you can give them less of a fourth of a cup um, some people only give like a tablespoon a day. It really depends on you and your rabbit on what you want to feed, um, also your, what your vet recommends. Um, but the average amount is about a fourth a cup a day for um, an average six pound rabbit. So typically a rabbit is probably going to get about a fourth cup of pellets per day. Um, if your rabbit is a little overweight, um, you can back it off to two tablespoons instead. Um, make any diet changes slowly of course because rabbits diet digestive systems are very fragile um, so I'm just trying to get proper amount of pellets here so that's pretty much about a fourth cup of pellets and you can provide it in a dish or you can scatter feed whatever you prefer um, so right here I have small pet select Timothy pellets these are for adult rabbits um, adult rabbits should never have alfalfa pellets because they are too fine too high in calcium and fat. So some people might be wondering, when should I be feeding veggies? When should I be feeding pellets? Like what time of the day? Um, I typically think rabbits should be fed about twice a day. Um, that just makes it very easy on you as the provider and also um, good for the rabbits because they get um, a meal in the morning and a meal in the night. So one thing to consider is how far apart your feedings are going to be. Um, typically people will feed their rabbits before they go to work or school which is about you know seven o'clock in the morning and then some people do it right before they go to bed which is like nine o'clock at night you know um, but if you're going to be doing this differently um, definitely keep that in mind um, one thing to know is that vegetables move through the rabbit's digestive system much quicker than pellets do pellets take a long time for your rabbit to digest and because of that it is not recommended to feed pellets um, before vegetables so I personally wouldn't recommend feeding vegetables and pellets within the same feeding um, just because if you feed um, pellets and then vegetables right afterwards um, the, the vegetables will want to be 
like moving along a lot faster, but the pellets will be keeping that from happening and it can cause um, just some rabbits could have blockage, not blockages, but like stomach, up, stomach upset from that. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Nothing, um, I've never really heard anyone really struggle from this as long as they feed veggies one time of day, the day and pellets in another. Um, but I just thought I'd put that out there just so you guys know. So what I personally did when I fed my rabbits pellets is I would feed their vegetables in the morning and then I would feed their pellets before I went to bed. I just thought this was really nice because normally in the morning I have um, more energy to prepare a salad um, and then in the night I just want to go to bed so I can just dump the pellets um, in their um, bowls or whatever. Um, so that really works for me and a lot of people find that that works for them as well. Um, so that's typically what I recommend, um, just a recommended schedule that you could feed your rabbit. Of course, always provide unlimited fresh water and unlimited hay. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you have any further questions and if you'd like me to do um, a recommended baby rabbit's diet, just let me know and I would try to do that for you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye! So when we lift it up, you can see um, it's just a big open area. It's probably about two feet by two feet um, Heidi House, so a two by two Heidi House. Um, I just have this panel on top, which is like the roof, and this is from um, an X-Pen.